We're gonna skate to one song, one song only. <laughs> Man, I tell you, Rodrigo, I am tired of living in my father's shadow. It's time to find land. Yeah. Man, we've been on this boat forever. It's been almost, it's been more than a year now. We're never gonna find land. I see land, I see land. No, no, I see land, it's right there. You I saw see... it first. No, you did and I definitely saw it first. My line. Um, it's good to meet you. Do you not, do you not understand? This is my line. <laughs> Sorry for my friend. He's the chief of our tribe. He doesn't know what you mean. Oh, hello. My name is Christopher Columbus. Okay, servant, you have to bring me gold once every month, and it has to be a certain amount or your hands are going to get cut off. Yes, Majesty. You got that? I did, yes. Have you brought me the gold that I asked for? Here, gold. Thank you. Um, Matt, I, I can only find one bar of gold. I'm sorry. This is not acceptable. Put your hands on the ground. Right I'm sorry. Now. I'm no, sorry. right now. I'm sorry. Right now, they're going to be cut off. Uh, 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 uh. How are you, Christopher? I'm fine. How are you doing, sir? I'm pretty good. So, people haven't wanted to know. Do you have kids or a wife? Um, yeah, actually I do. I have a, I have a beautiful wife and I have a, two beautiful kids. Oh, can you uh, tell me about this? Well, um, my wife, we met when we were teenagers and then we got married. It was kind of like a meant-to-be situation. And, our, uh, and I have two sons and they're okay. They're uh, fine. So, what was your first thought when you found land? Um, well, I was excited because I discovered the new world and I could bring good news to the to Spain and I was very overwhelmed. What did you see? Um, I saw a different environment from Spain and actually saw some people I never thought I'd get to see. Oh, tell me about these people. Um, well they dressed differently as if like some of them were completely nude only with something covering their private areas. And, uh, and they didn't understand English that much, but there was somebody there that could translate. So, what was your motivation? Uh, my motivation was actually, um, my father, he was a middle class man that was successful, and I thought, well, I, I need to do something big that will get me noticed in the world. And I thought I'd get I do an exploration. I see. So, how long did this trip take? Uh, it, it seemed as if it took like almost a year, but it only took about uh, five weeks, about a month and a half. Five weeks, wow, that's amazing. So, is there anything you would like to tell to the people of Spain? Um, well, I'd like to say um, to the people of Spain that we, well, we found it, and uh, I think we can bring in new culture from this, and uh, hopefully we can uh, learn something new from this experience and bring it back, and you know. So, if you could do this over again, would you change anything? Um, I think I'd, I'd uh, change my ad attitude when I first got there, because I was kind of overwhelmed, but if I could do it again, I think I'd kind of get into it a little more. 
I'm recording. <laughs> no, you're not. Yes, I am. I'm right. not cutting this out. Right, let's go. Okay, get a little closer. All right. Are you seriously recording? Yes. Stop recording. No. Put the hat on. Come on. Let's put the hat on. All right. So, how are you, Chris? Interview. I'm fine. Uh, how are you doing today? Good. People have me wanting to know. Do you have any uh, any kids or what? Um, yes, actually, I do. I have a, I have a very beautiful wife, and uh, I have two wonderful children. Tell me about them. <laughs> um, well, my wife, I met her at a young age. It, um, it was okay, I guess, and my kids, there's nothing really to say. Okay, here's how it's gonna work. You have to bring me every month. What are you doing? Go! 